Hi, I'm Brianna from Brianna K Designs, and today I want to talk to you about Annie's Caring Crochet Kit. This is awesome. I really enjoyed the kit we did last month and this month I think I might even enjoy a little bit more because I love, love, love making baby items. There's just something really sweet about those baby crochet items and I feel like everyone should have a crochet item when they're born or throughout life. I just love them. So this, this kit is really unique and really special. You can choose to make this for your own, for a family member, for your own little one, or as part of these caring clubs, there is Project Linus. This is on, this can be online. This little card can help you out. You can visit the local chapters and see where to send this. And here's the cool thing. This is what they're used for. So you will make this baby blanket called the Painted Boxes Baby Blanket. It's really, really pretty. And then if you would like, there was an organization started in 1995 and they provide love, comfort, and some softness to some kids who are either ill or traumatized or otherwise in need, which is really, really unique because this is a way for crafters and crocheters to come together and make the world a little bit better of a place to be in, which we all love to do. There's one thing about the crochet community I've always loved, and it's our willingness to spread love out into the world. This project is really fun, especially with this yarn, which is super soft. It's a DK weight yarn, a lightweight yarn, which I think that might be my favorite weight. I, I know a lot of other people feel the same, and it's perfect for a baby blanket. But this yarn does a lot of the designing for you. And the reason why is you'll notice on this picture that there's a lot of beautiful color striping going on. With this yarn, you don't have to cut your end, change colors, weave in those ends later. There's a lot less work when you go with yarn like this that has the variation in color. It changes on its own, which is fun to watch it work up as the yarn glides over your hook. You can see it change colors with each row. And I really enjoy working this swatch so far that I've worked and it's a very relaxing stitch pattern. So let's talk a little bit about this stitch pattern. So as you can see here, my colors are already changing for me, which is absolutely awesome. I also like the tones that are chosen because it could be for any gender, which is great. It makes things a lot easier when we make them a bit more gender neutral. And this is a two row repeat. The main stitches used in this are double crochet and chaining. So this is not complicated to get this boxed look, which I love the way that they brought this together with the eyelets and these groupings of double crochets. So grab your favorite hook and let's get a little bit of a deeper dive into this stitch. So you will start by chaining the amount that the pattern calls for. This makes a 32 inch by 38 inch blanket, which is the perfect size. I really enjoy that size. It works for a lot of reasons. And then we're going to get started on row two. And the repeat is only a two row repeat, which is really, really fun. So after you get started and you do a few rows, you'll get really, really comfortable in this stitch repeat. For row two, we will chain one and single crochet into the first. So there's our single crochet. And then we will chain three. So it's to chain and we're just gonna yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. And we're gonna do that three times. And so then we've got these, this chain three hanging out. Then these are our chain spaces from the row below. They create these beautiful eyelets. So we will simply single crochet into that chain space and repeat. So chaining three, and then go to the next chain space and place a single crochet. We'll repeat this across for what the pattern calls for to get the width that we need. And that is all we have to do for our first row of repeats. It's quite a simple and relaxing stitch pattern. So as we work across, you'll see that we have these chain threes hanging out. We're gonna come back in a minute and we're going to work in these spaces on the next row. Now the one thing I really like about this kit is if you are an experienced crocheter or a beginner crocheter, this really is for you. It's a relaxing project if you love to just have something to do while you watch TV or you're hanging out on the patio. And if you're new to this, there's nothing that's super fancy. We don't have this fancy increasing or decreasing going on. So it's a great pattern to 
get really comfortable with your skills in terms of chaining, single crochet, and double crochet, which are really the stitches we want to master as we move forward with our skills. So this, I, as I work across this row, it just reminds me of how nice it is to just create something and relax, which I think is really important with our craft. Plus, it really feels good to create something that's going to bring somebody a lot of comfort and joy, and that's really important for all kids. So I'm gonna to work to the end of this row, and then I'm gonna show you what happens on the next row. We can already see how fun it is to have this pop of color, and we didn't really have to do any extra work for that. This yarn adds such great tones to this blanket. So to get started on this, this um, row for the repeats, we will chain three, and then now we're going to work in the previous chain three space by doing three double crochets. And to do a double crochet, we yarn over, insert our hook into the chain space for this pattern, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. We will do the double crochet two more times into this chain space by yarning over, inserting our hook into that three chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two of the loops on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through two loops again. And now for our third double crochet. And then we will chain one, and this creates the chain one space that we pre worked in previously with these single crochets. And we'll go to the next chain three space, and we will do three double crochets again. And this is a really relaxing stitch pattern repeat that has a beautiful effect. Be sure to pay attention to the pattern notes so that on each row, you will know how to begin and end. And we wanna make sure we're, we're staying with our stitch count all the way across each time. And at the beginning of the row, this chain three is counted as a stitch unless it's noted otherwise. So this is a great pattern to do. It's not complicated, but it has a great look. So as I continue to work up my blanket, I hope you join me by getting your own kit. And each month is a new kit with a new place to donate if you do choose so. And I know a lot of times we all have good intentions that we want to create something to donate, but if you're like me with a busy schedule, often I will fall short unless I have a very clear plan. And Annie's has done that for us. They include in the kit a place, a really good place to donate for each kit, and it can be different each time. And that way there's already a card to mail in, you know what to do to mail it in, and so they've done the legwork and really taken the time to do that part for us to make it so that crafting is fun, stress-free, and easy. So join me by stalking the mailman, and I love when this purple package shows up. It's so much fun when I see it in my mailbox, and then it's really exciting to mail something out that you know was made with love. So head on over to Annie's and get your kit today. You will have a lot of fun.